Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I have a beautiful trigonometry problem for you to solve, which is you have to find the value of cos 20 degree multiplied by cos 40 degree multiplied by cos 80 degree, right? Now, I read in a book that American physicist Richard Feynman found the value of this trigonometric expression to be quite satisfying. You know, he found the value of this trigonometric expression to be quite beautiful. Now, it's possible maybe, you know, if we see the solution, if we see the actual value of this value of this trigonometry expression, it's possible that we will also find it to be quite beautiful. Who knows? Um, but as always, before I solve this problem, try to think about it for a while. Try to think about this problem for a while by yourself and try to solve it by yourself. You know, if you can solve it, that's really cool. But if you cannot, it's completely fine because I'm going to solve it anyway. And also, I wanted to mention that there are several different ways of ways of solving this problem so if your solution is different than mine is completely fine as long as you find the value okay so yeah again uh, try to pause the video and think about it by yourself and now i'm going to solve it all right so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to assume the value of this trigonometry expression to be p let's say okay p equal to cos 20 degree cos 40 degree cos 80 degree multiplication of all these things now when you see this kind of this kind of uh, you know, expression where it's multiplication of several different terms, right? One of the things that you can do, it's, it's a very effective problem solving technique, is that you can try to multiply both sides of it by something and then try to multiply particular this expression by something and then try to transform it into something that you already know about, right? So the idea is that I'm gonna multiply this expression with something and then transforming transform it into something familiar which i have some knowledge about okay so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to multiply both side of the equation that this is equation which is p equal to cos 20 degree cos 40 degree multiplied by cos 80 degree right i'm going to both i'm going to multiply both side of this identity uh, by 2 sin 20 degree okay so let me multiply so i'm going to multiply the left side which will be 2 sin 20 degree multiplied by p already equal this side it will be again because i'm multiplying both side by sine 2 sine 20 degree it will be 2 sine 20 degree multiplied by cos 20 degree and then multiplied by this two remaining term which will be cos 40 degree and then cos 80 degree all right now we know this formula maybe some of you know some of you don't there's a trigonometric formula that we were going to use here which is sin 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta right this is the formula that i'm going to use so as you can see after multiplying the right hand side by 2 sin 20 degree we kind of transform it to something that we know about so what i'm, I'm going to write it as i'm going to write the right side as uh, sin 2 multiplied by 20 degree, that means 40 degree, sine 40 degree, and then we have remaining two terms, cos 40 degree, and then cos 80 degree. Now maybe some of you already guessed what I'm going to do next, again I'm going to do the same thing, this time I, I already have sine 40 degree, so if I want to do, apply the same formula, I'm going to have to multiply on both sides by 2, just 2, okay, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 2, then I'll have on the, on the, Okay, I'm gonna write it here. On the left side, I'll have two square. Multiply, multiplying it again by two, two square. Sine 20 degree multiplied by P equal. On the right side, it will be two sine 40 degree. And then cos 40 degree. And then I have cos 80 degree. It's, it's small. All right. This side again, this this part of the this trigonometry expression, I can write it as sine 80 degree. Why? Because of this, this formula. And then I'm going to write cos 80 degree. And on the uh, left side, I have 2 square sine 20 degree. All right. And then I'm going to do again. I'm going to multiply both sides by both sides of the equation by 2. So I'll have 2 cube sine 20 degree. Sorry, I forgot to put P here, multiplied by P. 
our goal is to find the value of p which is very important so this is the the most important part i have to find the value of p p is the this one as i multiply the left side by 2 i have to multiply the right side by 2 too so i'm going to have 2 sin 80 degree 2 sin 80 degree cos 80 degree which i'm going to write directly i'm going to write sin 160 i'm not writing it again like repeating it again you know understand how, how i got it so i'm multiply this side by 2 and then I have 2 sin 80 degree cos 80 degree is equal to sin 160 60 degree. Now what is actually sin 160 degree? Let me maybe wipe this part out. I'm gonna wrap it right over here. So what is sin 160 degree? I can write sin 160 degree as let's say I'm gonna write it right over here. Sin 160 degree sorry 160 degree I can write it as sin 180 minus 20 degree right which is equal to sine 90 multiplied by 2 minus 20 degree and as we know like if we have let's say which quadrant this 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 uh, angle goes to it will be in the second quadrant because you know it's less than 180 degrees so it will be in the second quadrant and we know that in the second quadrant the value of sine is positive right and then as the this you know the Let's say the multiple of 90 is actually even number, we'll still have sine. So we'll have sine and then positive 20 because in value of you know sine in the second quadrant positive. So sine 20 degrees. So we can write sine 160 degrees as sine 20 degrees. They are exactly the same. So what I what we got here is that I can write this equation. If I write it right over here, okay. I'm gonna again write this part out. And what we found is that sine 160 is actually sine 20 equal to sine 20 degree. Okay. Then if we write it right over here, on the left side we have 2 cube multiplied by sine 20 degree multiplied by p. On the right side we have sine 20 degree. If we want to find the value of p, we have to divide both sides by 2 cube multiplied by sine 20, which, which gives us sine 20 degree over 2 cube here and sine 20 degree this sine 20, 20 degree and sine 20 degree from the numerator and denominator will be cancelled out and we have 1 over 2 cube which is equal to 1 over 8 now this is kind of fascinating to me at least uh, the, the value of cos 20 degree individually is not really a very nice number, it's an irrational number. The value of cos 40 degree is also an irrational number. The value of cos 80 degree is also an irrational number. But when you multiply them together, we get a really nice rational number which is equal to 1 over 8. Probably that's why Feynman found this value to be quite fascinating.